the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. It's five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. I can put together some odds and ends, but uh, it won't hold for long. It's not life as we know or understand it. We're all stumped. It was the show that spawned a thousand cliches, orbiting high above the Earth's television screens and beaming itself down for repeats at unusually regular intervals. Back on Earth, Captain Kirk lining up to salute the first 25 years with some of the old faces from what the fans call classic Trek and some of the new from the Star Trek films and its latest incarnation, Star Trek The Next Generation. Science fiction and the science fiction in particular is part of a, a new mythology that, that appeals to some inner core. That's a possibility. For one quarter of a century, they have thrilled us with their adventures, amazed us with their discoveries, and inspired us with their courage. But not, it seems, exhausted us with their repeats. Trekkies believe that, like good wine, Star Trek matures with age which is more perhaps than you can say about some of the plots in the new Star Trek series, The Next Generation. I think it needs a little more help. We've done all we can. I don't want to risk hitting the offspring by accident. But the Klingons may well cling on for another 25 years, not least because the magic makes money, a thousand million dollars so far from the sci-fi that won't say die. Martin Benedict, Sky News. <laughs> Give us just a hint of what's on next week. Well, Jason, I should be telling you.